Key dual type by sharp reverse. So we're getting some straight power in these reverses. That is not bad. That one's a hole in the set once again. It's got 100 HP with Retaliate and Matt Claw. So that is amazing. And... No! Dude. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with box two of Steam Siege from the Steam Siege booster case that I bought just recently on the channel. You guys would have seen the hype video. So as you guys can see down here on the main cam, this is the booster box. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. I love the um, I love the official seal over the box too. The seal makes it real. But yeah, with that said, there's not too much else to say about the box other than to just crack into it. And then I'll give you guys a quick run through of the outside of the box. And then we'll just get cracking straight into these packs. And for those guys who want to know how many packs are getting opened in today's video, we're going to be doing three parts to this box and 12 packs per part. But yeah, before we go too far, let's have a look at the Volcan... We've got the Volcanion there. We've got the Xerneas Break there. Volcanion chilling on the back, the mascot of the set, obviously. And it just says, Dual Powers Clash. Dual powers meaning the dual types have made a return to the TCG. The Delta species have made a return. But then we've got the Eveltor break being another mascot of the set. And Shiny Gardevoir. I believe that's Shiny Mega Gardevoir. But yeah, so the hopes for today, we're hoping for some Volcanion EX goodness from this box today. Runner up would definitely have to be the Steelix. But um, so we're going to start off with this left hand side. And we're going to choose 12 randomly. We're going to shuffle these up a little bit. And we're going to see... Um, what pulls we can get, obviously. Let's give this a quick shuffle. There we go. So they're all mixed up. Who knows what's going on here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there we go. Hopefully we pick the goods for the first part here today, you guys. But that said, no hesitations. Let's get straight into pack one of box number two. So let's knock this down. There we go. Awesome. But yeah, so there are plenty there are plenty of goodies. There's nothing that I'm overly too hyped to pull from this set at this current moment. Nothing's really kind of um, stuck out to me other than the Volcanion. But yeah, let's go. Let's let's see what this box has for us today. So I've got a Mankey, a Yanma, a Pom, a Larvesta, Drifloon, Fletchinder, a Duot. And Azumarill, the shiny Azumarill dual type there. We've got the Apom Reverse with Filter Around and Tail Jab. And our first pull from Box 2 is... A Yang Mega. I'm not, not disappointed with that one by any means. It's not the best pull, but it's definitely not the worst from the set. Because it has the ability Sonic Vision. Which says, if you have exactly four cards in your hand, ignore all energy in the, in the attack cost of each of this Pokemon's attacks. So yeah, so you can throw the break on that one and you just got like a free attack as long as you got four cards in your hand. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But let's continue. Pack two. I wonder how long it's going to be for before we pull our first Ultra Rare from the box. Because as you guys may or may not have noticed in other videos on YouTube or even my own, fir my first box that I opened, um, we actually had a bit... A uh, bit of a dry spell before we actually pulled any ultra rares and the ultra rare pull ratio has been dropped rather dramatically So there's a lot more hollows to be pulled in this set Which is kind of going back to how it used to be But we've got a Rapidash, a Persian, Greedy Dice, a La Vesta Reverse, that one's just a common with Bug Bite And... Oh no, no way, no way you guys So we've kicked it off just the same as we did in box one and our first pull of the box is that full art Volcanion EX check that one out you guys Wow so as I was saying this is one of the cards that I was looking forward to pulling the most from this set just look at it, it is absolutely epic uh, so yeah it's got the dual typing it's fire and water it's got 180 HP with the ability steam up and the attack vol volcanic heat so it says this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn but that's all good because you can just, um, oh, what is it, Pokemon Ranger and remove all, I think it's Pokemon Ranger and remove that ability. So that's pretty cool. I absolutely love this card. I adore this card. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Volcanion. 
EX Full Art. But wow, what a way to kick off box number two, you guys. And talking about Volcanion, we have the Volcanion Pack Art next. So actually, we'll throw this one just up the front here so you guys can get a good look at that one on cam. But yeah, wow, what an amazing pull. Hopefully this box still contains some hype for us today. But there's another code. Once again, in this box, I'm going to be giving away every single code for you guys. So be sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video for all the codes. But yeah, let's knock this camera down just a little bit further. And there, yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. So we got a Clauncher, a Fletchling, Hopip, Sneasel, a Mantine, Tangrowth, whoops, a Special Charge, Shield on. And Anorith Reverse, that one has, is just an uncommon with X Scissor. And a Drudagon Regular Rare. So this one has 120 HP and it has the attack Proud Fang and Giga Claw. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, not good. But yeah, once again, Volcanion making a big appearance in this part here. With the second pack in a row. Hopefully that's a good sign. Yes, there is the Volcanion. EX secret rate in this set which is very hot very very hot I think I almost like the regular one like now seeing this in person once again because I did see it when Booster Kings pulled it over on his channel um, be sure to check that one out he got some amazing pulls out of uh, the first part of the split boost box that we did together between our two channels link will be in the video description but yeah we've got a Dino a Chimchar a Zwilus a Monferno check that so we went we went like this. So we went Dino, and then we got a Zwilus there. We got a Chimchar, and then we got a Monferno there. So that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty wild. What are the chances of that? But um, we got a Ninja Boy. That's pretty cool. I like I like what I see. We got a Mantine Reverse. That one's just a common with Healing Wave and Dwindling Wave, and a Jump Luff Regular Air. So this is one of the very underwhelming. Rares to get from the set. It's got 90 HP with Fluffy Transport and Solar Step. A, a second a second stage evolution with 90 HP definitely is just not good enough uh, to be seeing any sort of play in the TCG. So yeah, very underwhelming pull. So let's keep moving on. We need to find the overwhelming pulls, if you know what I'm saying. So let's continue on with this shiny Mega Guard War Pack Art. So that is the code. A little bit of a shake. <laughs> like looking looking at that. Um, Oh, Canyon EX Full Art, it looks so good. And yeah, we've opened up a couple of packs now. We've, we're probably into like the fifth pack. And that's the only pull we've got once again. So yeah, it's a bit strange. These uh, Steam Siege booster boxes seem to come in hits. Like the pulls always just come in big hits. But we've got a Mari, a Captivating Pokepuff, an Azumarill, a Fletchender. Ooh, ooh, that's not bad. I haven't pulled this one yet. So we got a Pyro Break. It's not bad. Not the one that I'm looking forward to pulling the most, but it's definitely a pretty, pretty cool break. So it's got 160 HP with Kaiser Tackle. That does 180 and it says this Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. Okay. Okay, Pyro, calm down. Calm down. And we got a Primate. That's not bad. I don't mind that Primate art. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, multiple Pokemon art in the comment section below. I love how the Mankeys are kind of in there as well. It's a very nice touch to that card. But yeah, let's throw Pyro just up the back here with Volcanion. So we got a nice little fire theme going on here. So that's a pretty good sign. I like what I see. I like what I see. But we've got a Xerneas break. Let's go. I wonder if we can get another Xerneas break because that card is epic. It's very playable. Very, very playable. But let's go. So we've got a Dino with Raw and Headbutt Bounce. We've got a Litwick. This camera's kind of cutting off the cards just a little bit, so we'll move it like that. We've got a Nosepass, a Chimchar, a Nidoran Male, Captivating Pokepuff, a Skiploom, Holuchar, Holuchar, a Bergmite Reverse with Ice Block and Icy Snow. That one's just a common. And a Galvantula Dual Type. So not bad. 90 HP with the electric and grass typing with double thread and electro web so yeah well i'll give you guys a close-up there to pause and have a read of that one if you guys would like and let's continue on so how many packs do we do we have left we've got one two three four five six so we've hit the halfway point 
of the box. So we've got two pulls out of six packs. So we're definitely on ratio pull wise. So we've got two pulls, six packs. That is a good sign. I'm liking what I see. It, very, it feels like we're not getting much, but that's because split between the whole box, we should be heading towards about 12 to 15 pulls uh, based off general ratios. But yes, yeah, so we've got a La Vesta, a Drifloon, Porniard, a C Dot, Clink, Braviary, and Armor Fossil Shield on, a Nuzleaf, a Reverse Hollow of a Shift Tree. That is epic. I've pulled this card like three times, I think, already, but this is such an epic looking card with the dual type uh, Reverse Hollow Foil. I love that. It looks so cool. So cool. Let me know what you guys think about the dual type uh, reverse holo foil in the comment section of the video. And <laughs> Margiana or Margiana EX. Let me know if, uh, what, what one that is in the comments as well. I have no clue. But um, yeah, a Margiana EX with 160 HP with the ability Mystic Heart and the attack Soul Blaster. Soul Blaster says during your next turn this Pokemon Soul Blaster attacks base damage is 60. So it gets halved. So that, that kind of sucks. You, th you think they'd kind of bring a bit more hype to the Magiana with um, a bit more of an OP attack to get people using it and bring the hype to Pokemon Sun and Moon. But yeah, not a bad card. Not the best. The full art looks absolutely amazing in person. I saw that one once again. I saw that one in Booster King's video. Spoilers left, right and center, but be sure to go check that one out. Link in the video description. But let's continue on. So we've got a Sneasel, a Mantine, a Mankey, Yanma, a Palm, a Clang, Claw Fossil Anorith, a Duot, a Dual Type by Sharp Reverse. So we're getting some straight power in these reverses. That is not bad. That one's a hollow in the set once again. It's got 100 HP with Retaliate and Matt Claw. So that is amazing. And... No! Dude, what? I missed it. I missed it. Oh, Booster Kings is here in the background. No. 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 Real. Oh, look at Not this. Real. <laughs> Not real. Wade for days. Pax Wade. Brody quit TCG. Wow. I my eyes are watering right now. I'm look tearing up. Shake. Wow. What an amazing card. This looks. So good in person. Wow. Look at this, you guys. Look at these pulls. Woo! Part that is one. part one, I tell you guys. Oh, this set hasn't been treating me too well as of late, but box two is definitely coming through for us. Wow. Well, I don't know what else to say oh, about that one, you guys. The shake. the shake is so, so real. But we got four packs to go. I had to keep keep pressing on you guys. We have so many packs left to crack through. I could go on for days. For days about that card. That is the card that I was looking forward to pulling the most from the set. Oh, calm down. Calm down, Brody. And let's move on. So we've got a, a Meryl. A Meryl. We've got a Ponyta. A Dino. Litwick. Nosepass. A Flaffy. Steelix Spirit Link, a Shield On, a Rufflet, that one has Reckless Charge, that one's just a Reverse Common, and <laughs> the Bisharp Hollow. So we're on a solid streak right now, you guys. We are getting hit with hol like holographic or better pulls right now. This is crazy. So yeah, we'll throw those on cam side by side so you guys can see that one. But yeah, that's pretty epic. What an awesome looking card. Let me know what you guys think about the shiny Bisharp as well. What do you think about the colouring and all that sort of jazz in the comment section below? And as Endo says, it looks like the, looks like the uh, pink there was someone just spilled their pen over the card. So I don't know what's going on there. But let's move on. Let's press on. Xerneas Break. So talking about Xerneas Break, I'd love, like, like I was saying earlier in the video, I'd love to pull another one of those because they are epic. Such a playable card. Let's get my finger out of the way. Hopefully I haven't been putting my finger in the way of those other codes for you guys. But let's continue on. So we've got a Crow Gunk, a Tangler, Clink, Joltik, Pornyard, a Steelix Spirit Link, a Rapidash, Nuzleaf, 
a reverse pony task. Got 60 HP with returning flames and live coal. And a pyro or regular rare. So this is one of the cards in the set that I love the artwork of the most. Being a regular rare, it just, it just has so much detail. And they definitely gave this card a lot of love. I think it's probably because of the pyro break. So they really want to emphasize this card a little bit in the set. Give it a little bit of love. And I can appreciate that. So that's what it would look like if it was played on the field. But yeah. So the uh, the attack becomes extra, if you guys didn't know. So Kai's attack would become an extra attack that you can use on this card. But yeah. A little bit of um, facts with Amity. But let's go. Second to last pack. We've got the Eveltol Break pack art. Which this pack, this part has been absolutely amazing. The pulls have been great. I'm so pleased. It, st it still doesn't feel like we've got like a crazy amount of pulls, but the quality of the pulls have definitely just made the part. Like you cannot complain about a secret rare and a full art and an EX all in the same part out of 12 packs. That is totally worth it. Totally worth it. But we got a Nidoran Mail, a Clauncher, Fletchling, Hoppit, a Zoilus, Nidorino, Special Charge, a Shendalore reverse rare, so another reverse rare of a hollow in the set. I didn't think we we didn't put Shift Tree up the back, but yeah, we've got Shift Tree as well. And a Bastiodon regular rare. So nothing too too fancy there. It's got counter head and fortress rage. I'll I'll give you guys a close up there because there is a lot of writing on that card for those guys who would like to pause and have a read of that one. But yes, so we are up to the final pack art, and what a better way to end this part than on the like I guess you say theme of this part being Volcanion, as you guys can see, we got the two, whoops, knocking the camera on, and Jazz. Yeah, we got the two flat Volcanions there, which is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So box two is definitely, I think it's going to be labeled as my favorite box of this case easily because I've pulled the cards that I wanted the most in the same part of the same box. But that is crazy. So hopefully we can get some last pack magic here just to put the icing on the cake if you know what I'm saying but we got a Fungus a Rufflet Litleo Meryl a Ponyta Braviary Lampant a Clang <laughs> ask and you shall receive you guys ask and you shall receive so we got a Claw It's a Break with 130 HP with a lock on that is amazing that is amazing you guys this part has been epic so it has lock on, which you guys can pause and have a read of that one. That one's got a bit of a long description. So that's pretty cool. And we got a Nido King to end the part. So nothing too crazy as the rare there, but we definitely got an awesome break once again. Like lots of breaks are being pulled. Like my first box, I got a couple of breaks and this box has given me two breaks already within the first um, 12 packs. But yeah, so we got the reverse reds. We got the shift tree that's hidden in the big bulk pile just over to the right there. You guys can see there but then we've got the Chandelure reverse rare we've got the buy sharp reverse rare the buy sharp hollow hollow a claw it's a break let's have a nice shot of that one for you guys we've got the we'll go we'll go to the next break we got to go in a nice little order here the pyro break not bad once again let's get this into a little bit of an order here so then we've got the my gear and I EX. Let me know in the comment section below how that is pronounced or how you guys think it is pronounced. So that's not bad. Definitely doesn't. It looks kind of fake. Like I said this in the last video, but the I know the EX shine just doesn't stand out as much as what it does on a lot of the other cards. I'm guessing it's just because it's a metal type. But yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> but yeah, then we got the highlights, the crazy, crazy highlights. You guys know how I love my full art. But yes, we so we've got the Volcanion EX Full Art with Steam Up and Volcanic Heat. And then once again, we've got the Secret Rare. So let's go through this card because I didn't really stop. I got caught up in the moment and we didn't really go through this card art. But as you guys can see, we've got the Xerneas up the back there and just Volcanion. So not as many Pokemon as what they've thrown on previous Secret Rares, but it just looks amazing. I love the color scheme. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that card. And also let me know, know in the comment section below what your favorite pull was from this part. So I'll get all the like ultra rare or better pulls here for you guys to have a look there. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed part one of box number two, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in part number two or just another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings.
Thanks for watching. Peace.